computer science program. Mm -hmm. And so we start in middle school learning coding. Um, our students right now are at the phase where they are learning to make their characters they've created, dance around the stage and wow. kick soccer balls and all of that. And then by the time they graduate, they'll be able to make their own app. They can design their own website. Hi everyone, I'm Monica from Scola. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's Scola School Chat video. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our awesome school interviews. Ready to look at some schools? I know I am. Let's jump right into it. Hey, this is Sean with Scola, and I'm here at the Western School of Science and Technology in Phoenix, Arizona with school director Jessica Makowski. Jessica, thank you so much for having us. Yeah, absolutely, Sean. We're so glad to have you here on campus. And to kick things off, can you tell us a little bit about the mission of the school here? Yeah, so a little bit about how Western School of Science and Technology started. We have a sister school, Pioneer Preparatory, behind us. Mm -hmm. And the parents at Pioneer Preparatory, while it only went up to eighth grade, really wanted a high school that was as high achieving and academically focused. And so Western started in 2014 with that mission in mind to be a community-based school um, based based on parents' needs. And so um, here in our community of Maryvale, there have been no A-rated high schools ever until Western. So we're so proud that uh, we were the first A-rated high school in Maryvale for high school alone. And now we're looking with our junior high and high school to have that combined A rating. Um, really our goal is that all of our students have opportunities in post-secondary. So whether that's military, a four-year university, or a two-year university. Okay. Wow, yeah, being an A-rated school, I mean, that's certainly something that sets you apart. What are some of those other features that really makes the school unique? Yeah, so I would say um, one of the things we hear most from our parents in our surveys and our feedback is, first of all, that teachers actually know their students. So we know every student here by name, we address them by name, and our parents love that community feel. Okay. Um, the second thing that is kind of our biggest indicator for parents is just how safe we are. And so the students feel safe here, the parents feel like we have a safe campus, um, and we don't have a lot of the discipline problems that surrounding neighborhood schools have and then the last thing I would say is ever since we have opened and so we've had four graduating classes of seniors all of them have graduated a hundred percent on time wow. with post-secondary options and so you know our parents know that when their students come here they are going to be accepted to colleges um, last year in particular we earned 1.6 million dollars worth of scholarships wow. for our seniors which is a really big deal in our low-income community okay yeah, and speaking of that college prep, I know there are some programs that you do um, specifically geared towards that college preparation, yeah. career readiness. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Absolutely. So here at Western, we are an AP for all school with equity in mind that okay. all students should have access to the highest rigor of and the best opportunities with their curriculum. And so even for our English language learners, so monolingual Spanish speakers, they have access to advanced placement classes. And that really ensures that by the time our students are leaving Western, they have racked up a, a good number of college credits for themselves, saving themselves and their families money. Right. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, you have science and technology right in the name of the absolutely. school. How does that play its role here uh, in the classes and everything that students are doing? Yeah. Um, you know, our STEM program is really robust. And so in addition to the individual classes, it weaves its way throughout all of our classes. So for example, our geometry class is also geometry and construction. And mm -hmm. so we have built, uh, well, not me, the students have built these incredible structures out back, um, doing all of the measurements, determining exactly right. what they'll look like. We also have an AMPT class for our Algebra 1, and they're able to kind of create and make um, various things using um, the skills they've learned in Algebra. And so right now they're on a t-shirt making unit okay. um, and really excited about that. And then in addition, we offer a robust computer science program. Mm -hmm. And so we start in middle school learning coding. Um, our students right now are at the phase where they are learning to make their characters they've created, dance around the stage and wow. kick soccer balls and all of that. And then by the time they graduate, they'll be able to make their own app, they can design their own website, um, and they have kind of a robust set of skills that's immediately applicable in the real world. Right, yeah, and skills that they're gonna need for the future, for sure. Absolutely, honestly, if you can't run a social media campaign right now, I'm not <laughs> sure how you're getting hired. <laughs> right, yeah. 
so important. <clears throat> and I did see that it looks like you have a one-to-one -one program, so all the students are provided with technology. Oh, absolutely. Yep, we are one-to-one. -one, and I think what's different about our program is our students actually just take their laptops home with them. Okay. So they get assigned when they first come here. They keep them over the summers. I know our parents sometimes will use them to um, find jobs or to pay bills. And so we know that having access to technology in our community is also important. Right, so not just the students, but really helping the community, their families as well. Absolutely. And you've mentioned the parents a couple of times. Tell me a little bit about the community of the students here and just the community in general. Yeah, oh man, we love Maryvale. So we are absolutely here for the community. I would call Maryvale the very proud home of um, lots of parents who have immigrated here. So we have okay. lots of students who have come um, from Mexico. We have families from other um, Latin American countries. They've come here and you know what I love about Maryvale is almost all of our students are bilingual. It's such a great asset that they have going out into the workforce. And so um, for our community uh, specifically, our parents come here for parent classes. They come here to learn okay. English. Um, so oh, many wow. of them are English right. as a second. Parents too. Absolutely, great. yep. Um, they will come here and get assistance with their taxes or with different um, pieces of that. And that also means since we have a lot of first generation students, um, we do things like we teach our students how to register to vote. Um, so we won the We Rock the uh, Vote Award. Our students got to meet Michelle Obama in a wow. Zoom. Um, and that's because 85% of our seniors that year um, were able to register to vote. And really, based on paperwork, that was all of our students who could register to right. vote. We got all of them. Well, really cool programs there. Yeah. Um, anything else that you could add about the, the teaching methodology or how learning occurs here? Yeah, absolutely. So I would say this, if you're a parent and you are looking for someone to deliver a lecture to your students, that is not Western. Um, and so here, we're always thinking, what are the students doing during right. the lesson? And so, you know, in the classroom we're in right now, there are whiteboard tables because students use those. Um, we do lots of um, AVID strategies, so collaborative study groups where students are teaching other students. Lots of hands-on activities, um, presentations, um, in addition to some rigorous paper writing and essays because we know we need them to be prepared for college when sure. they leave our doors. Yeah, and speaking of being prepared for college, I think I heard there was a specific advisory class that really helped students kind of find their path and maybe even do applications, yeah. resume building, that kind of stuff. So all seniors here at Western are either in an AVID class or a senior seminar. Okay. And both of those classes their senior year are dedicated to helping them fill out their applications, completing their FAFSA, deciding what their um, route is going to be. So for some of our students, they know it's the military. So we uh, schedule them a time to take the ASVAP and we help them, yep. we bring recruiters in to talk to them. And so no student leaves here without a plan that they and their family have come together around. Okay. And it's not just about academics here either, you know, rounding out some of those college applications yeah. and life skills. I saw that there are a lot of programs, sports, clubs, Tell me about some of the other opportunities that kids have to do those uh, other activities. Yeah, absolutely. So I feel like at Western here we have the trifecta. So academics obviously our main focus. We do provide <clears throat> kind of a rich bucket of athletics and okay. clubs for students to quite participate in. Well. We do have quite a trophy <laughs> case. Yeah, we uh, are very good at the athletics we participate in. Um, and so in addition to that, we offer um, a really robust system of support um, in the counseling department. So we have a social worker here on site. We also have three counselors, two behavior interventionists, and all of that is in the vein of helping students make good choices and decisions, helping them regulate their own emotions, and just knowing that, especially coming back from this pandemic, right. we're really excited to offer that additional support to them. Right, well that's so great, you know, offering, like you said, not just the academics, but really focusing on you know the whole child and building all those different facets that are so important. Yeah, absolutely. You know, when they leave our doors, um, they don't leave for good. Our alumni come back all the time to get extra support, and I just love that they know this is home for them. Sure. And so, you know, we had an alumni come back just the other day to speak to our social worker to get some additional support, and that's the kind of community we're building here. Okay. 
And do you have additional partnerships in the community or options where students are kind of giving back to the community at all? So we require all of our students to complete 100 volunteer hours in order to graduate. So that can be done here on campus at neighboring um, schools. So we have partnerships with elementary schools. Mm -hmm. Some of our um, students do it through their church group if they are a member of a church group. Um, and then we're also in partnership with Heart for the City, Boys and Girls Club, YMCA, uh, New Pathways for Youth. I mean, we have a significant number of community partners. Wow. Well, it's a great school, it, you know, it looks great, uh, the students you. seem really happy here, it sounds like you're doing some great stuff for their future for the community. For parents who aren't familiar with the school, where are you located and how can they get more information? Yeah, absolutely. So if you're considering Western School of Science and Technology for your student, we're located at 67th Avenue um, in Indian School, tucked in right behind Fry's. Uh, I would tell you to check us out on the website early because we enroll quickly and we end up with a wait list every year. And so we would be glad to have you come on campus. We'll give you a tour. I'd love to meet you in person. Uh, but the sooner you contact us, the sooner we can get you in. Great. So you can stop by the school. You can also check out their profile on scola.com where we have information about classes offered, their academics, as well as how to apply. Thank you so much for having us. It's been a real pleasure. Yeah, thank you so much for coming. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's Scola School Chat video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you would like to watch more of our awesome videos, make sure to click here. And to stay up to date with all the awesome videos we post and subscribe to our channel, make sure to click here. See you on the next one!